Hello friends, Taylor here. Today I have a bookish unboxing to do. Hopefully you all are having a wonderful day and staying safe and healthy. Today I have the April Unplugged Book Box Young Adult unboxing to do. I am just super happy. This is one of my absolute favorite book subscription boxes ever. They are the sweetest. I love them so much and they always have such great self-care and everyday items to use. So I'll have all the links to Unplugged Book Box down below in the description box in case you are interested and want to check them out, which I highly, highly recommend doing so. They so very kindly sent me their box to share with you all, so thank you so very much to Unplugged Book Box for sending me your box. It's honestly my favorite time of month whenever I receive it and get to share it with you all. So that's what it looks like when you open it, and the spoiler card fell out. So the April Young Adult Fiction's theme was creativity. On the back is all of the spoiler information, which I think is perfect because especially during right now, we can all use some creativity in our lives. Am I right? So let's dive in and see what items we have this month. So the first thing that I'm seeing is a candle. The Louise LeBlanc candle is from Serpent and Dove, which I haven't read that yet. And this candle was made exclusively for Unplugged by Natural Pure Honest, which is an Etsy shop. I absolutely love the fact that Unplugged uses so many awesome Etsy shops in their box, and it's just appreciating and supporting small businesses, which I love. So not only is there awesome self-care items and there's bookish related items and so many other things like fandoms, self-care, but they're supporting small businesses and Etsy shops, which is the best. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sniff. Oh, it is a beautiful candle too. It's like gold paint or flakes on it love the look of the candle and I can already smell it and it smells incredible. It's like a very cinnamon, um, spicy goodness. I just absolutely love it. So the candle is really awesome and already a win to the start of the box. I cannot wait to melt this candle. Oh, it, it's like the perfect candle to put if you want something very cozy while you're reading and if you like the smell of cinnamon and spices, this is for you. And then this is super cool that they included something like this, especially during right now when we need like activities to do in the house. They have colored pencils and quite a few of them. There's also a sharpener on top. Focus, focus. Perfect if you have coloring books in your house or you just want to doodle, having these and having a sharpener is just perfect. And the colored pencils are an unplugged exclusive inspired by And We're Off by Dana Schwartz, a story that follows a young artist as she travels through Europe sketching beautiful drawings. I've never heard of that, but from what it says in the description on the spoiler card, it sounds really interesting and something I might like. So I think after I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna check it out and see if I wanna order it at some point. But yeah, so awesome that we get colored pencils and a sharpener. Going with the creativity theme, then I'm picking up something that is wrapped in bubble wrap. Ooh, wow, that smells so good. Oh, it's like cherry or, or bubble gum, I don't even know, but it smells candy, fruity, super good. Then a fun little shape also. Oh, it's a bath bomb. I honestly wish that I could share this scent through the camera because of how good it is. See, can you smell it? Probably not. It's a super fun shape and design. It kind of looks like, I don't know, sandcastle or unicorn horn or something like that. And the colors are really fun mixed together and it's sparkly. It's just, and it smells, like I said, heavenly. If you like a sort of candy, I don't even know, smarty scent, like the smarties or the bottle caps candy, something like that. Oh, I am in love. It's a bath bomb. I don't even know if I said that. So this bath bomb was inspired by the book Wanderlust by Jen Malone and it's every traveler's dream. Aubrey Sadler is taken on an adventure through Europe 
eating her fair share of fun foods including gelato, which inspired this bath bomb, and falling for the cute guide in the process. This bath bomb was created exclusively for Unplugged by Nature's Whimsy, which again is another Etsy shop, and hmm. It said it was inspired by gelato. I got such a huge candy scent, but I guess like if you have a really cherry gelato, maybe. I don't know. I'm definitely going to be checking out more of Nature Whimsy stuff on Etsy because this is amazing. The smell of it. And I love the shape too. It's super cool. I just am obsessed about everything with this bath bomb and the smell definitely which is something that you obviously want out of a bath bomb is an awesome smelling one so highly recommend um nature's whimsy next up for all of you dexter fans i have never seen an episode of dexter yet it's one of the ones i do want to get to um in the next couple of weeks probably binge through that it is a notebook and Dexter themed. It says, do I see sheets of plastic in your future? And it is lined and it comes with a pen, which is always handy. They're always thinking and making sure that you have stuff with the product. So that's super cool. So like the pen with the notebook and the sharpener with the colored pencils. I love that they have that extra thought uh, that they put into the box, which again, I just, I love Unplugged so much. Do you watch Dexter? Let me know in the comments down below if you watch it, if you love it, you don't. I'd like to know your thoughts before I go ahead and watch it. Super awesome. So this notebook and fandom was chosen by a hashtag Unplugged Unboxing winner and was designed by the Unplugged team. So that's super cool that you can take part in the unboxing photo challenges for your chance to pick a future item in fandom. So I love that they're doing that and incorporating their subscribers in the fandoms that they love because sometimes in subscription boxes you don't see your fandom and it's a bummer because we all fandom lovers are very passionate about our fandoms so that's cool that they give you a chance to win in one of their photo challenges and get to feature a fandom that you're very passionate about which would be the originals for me because I quickly became obsessed with the originals and I haven't seen really anything. You see Vampire Diaries of course but the originals and there's so many other fandoms that I'm a part of and I'm really obsessed with and passionate about that I would love to see in boxes so again awesome that they give their subscribers that chance to put their fandoms out there. Then is this a tea or a coffee? Just kidding. <laughs> it's neither one of those. Do not use this as a tea or coffee. It is a magnesium foot soak. And the trees speak Latin. I'm not sure what that's from, but. I just always assume when I see these little brown bags that it's a tea or coffee, but it's definitely not. Read the label, <laughs> do not just assume. But I'm just, like, if you open it, you can obviously tell that it would be a foot soak and not edible. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's the Raven Cycle themed. I haven't read any of the Raven Cycle by Maggie Seavauder yet, and I definitely want to get around to reading it at some point, hopefully soon, because I know a lot of people really love and enjoy it. This foot soak was made exclusively for Unplugged by Crunchy Mama, which, again, is another Etsy shop. But the magnesium foot soak can help rid your body of toxins. We have a Harry Potter item in this and it's the cutest thing ever. As you're just as sane as I am, which is a Luna Lovegood quote, and there's so many things in here, so many other cute things hidden in here of Luna's. Let me know if you can spot some of Luna's gear. This is honestly so adorable. So Luna's bedroom coloring print. Oh, it's a coloring print, which means you have the print and you have colored pencils. Always thinking. They put so much care and thought and love into their boxes. I cannot. Can't get enough of Unplugged. And this print was designed from Azura.Arts on Instagram. And Azura.Arts is what did the... T I don't know if you've seen the last unboxing I did, but it was a beautiful print on a tote bag. And that was also done by Azura Arts. And I just absolutely love the designs and the creativity. I think I think what I'm going to start doing, which I haven't done before, is not only putting um, Unplugged Book Box and all their information down below in the description box, but also linking the Etsy shops and any artists that they have included also in the description box. So if there was like, you wanted to check out Azura Arts, there would be a handle down there for you. 
or if you wanted to check out a specific Etsy seller, um, I'll link try my best to link everybody down below in case you are interested in any of the items and want to check out those sellers as well. But I can't wait to color in this print. It'll be such a fun thing to do when I have downtime, which obviously I have quite a bit of. So in case you are interested in Unplugged Book Box, which again, you could probably tell how much I'm obsessed and passionate and love this box just by my unboxings but I truly do and I'm not paid or anything to do this I just get the box sent to me for free which is incredible and I am so grateful that they do that going on a tangent but yeah I highly recommend it if you are interested in bookish boxes or self-care items or just any of the things that you see in my unboxings next month's theme is validation if you are interested in getting unplugged which sounds really intriguing and I love the spoiler card especially just beaches are my thing I don't have a lot of that where I live but whenever I go on vacation I like to walk the beach not necessarily go into the ocean but just walk it <laughs> and look at it they have a item reveal which is really cool each May box will include a unique bookish and exclusive kitchen gadget that's really fun I wonder what kitchen gadget they're going to be including if it's like a whisk or tongs measuring cup i don't know but either way kitchen gadgets are always really useful to have and they seem to always go missing when you need them the most so then we have these little cards uh creative goals for april 2020 in the back of that they have the importance of creativity and i always love and appreciate that they give you these tips and tricks on how to deal with certain things in life like creativity can help with stress relief uh trusting your instincts self-awareness problem solving um and just so many other things so i love that they do things like that in the box and then playlist which is always really fun that they have available on spotify and it's songs for your story uh for april 2020 for creativity i don't think i know any of the songs on here oh I do know a couple of them. Dance Monkey, Tones and I. I am obsessed with that song. I really love it ever since it came out. And then Sorry Not Sorry by Demi Lovato. I think that's the only two I know. So there's other ones that I can go check out. And then on the back of that is the author letter. And there is a signed book plate in the box as well. This is my favorite signed book plate because not only, usually they just like sign their name, but the author actually included like a little note to it. And it says, keep going, you're on the edge of something wonderful. I love that. So not your typical signed book plate by the author that they included a little note. And that's super special to me. Makes me really excited for the book. I see there's a spoiler on it, um, but I've never heard of the book. So I'm interested to unwrap it. The books always come wrapped and I love that they do that. I think it's just like opening up a present every single month and it's my favorite. So that's what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like underneath. Okay. I almost just dropped it in my coffee. It's going to freak out. So it's red. In case you were curious. And then it has the edge of anything on the side of it. I'm just always interested to see what books look like underneath their dust jackets. If there's anything cool or if it's like just a general one. The Edge of Anything by Nora Shalloway Carpenter. I haven't heard of the book yet or the author, so I'm really interested to see what it's about. And again, I love that the signed book plate came with a little message as well. I'm going to read the inside to you really quick. Len is a loner teen photographer, hunted by a past that stagnated her work and left her terrified she's losing her mind. Sage is a high school volleyball star, desperate to find a way around her sudden medical disqualification. Both girls need college scholarships. After a chance encounter, the two develop an unlikely friendship that enables them to begin facing their inner demons. But both Len and Sage are keeping secrets that left hidden could cost them everything, maybe even their lives. Interesting. Set in the mountains outskirts of Asheville, North Carolina, this gorgeous Own Voices novel explores grief, mental health, and how the transformative power of friendship can help us find ourselves and the goodness in life, even when everything feels broken. This sounds really interesting and something that I'll definitely want to get to very soon. An unforgettable story about the power of friendship. I feel like it's been a long time since I've read a wholesome book about the power of friendship and just what it truly means to have someone in your life there for you 
friendship wise. Oh, it sounds lovely. And let me know if you've heard of this book because I haven't yet, but I'm really interested after reading a little bit about it in the flap of getting to it hopefully soon. Yeah, that is it for my April Unplugged Book Box unboxing for young adult. I loved all the items in the box. I think it was a fantastic month for everything that they put in. And let me know what your favorite items were from the box. Like I said, I loved them all. <laughs> that is it for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a magical, wonderful day, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!